One of my favorite new features with the Adobe InDesign software is the Grid Layout tool. I'm just going to delete these um, images that I have here and I'm going to jump into Bridge. And I previously selected a number of images to, and I'm just going to drag and drop those back into InDesign. All right, back inside InDesign, I'll have my little cursor tell me that I have multiple images to drop in here. Now this is where I want to pull in the grid tool by holding the control and shift key down and you can see I can simply just drag my mouse out. Now this is a secret to the grid tool. You want to hold the mouse down and let go of your shortcut keys, the, sh the control and shift key and then you can use your arrow keys to determine how many rows and how many columns you'd like. And this can do hundreds and hundreds of images uh, or I could just do a few images. I'm going to go with three rows, three columns just using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Now if I want to be a Fentress I can also combine the shift key and I can adjust the spacing between the rows and I can also increase and decrease the spacing between the arrows. Now be careful here because if you press any other key other than the shift key and the arrow keys InDesign is going to think that you wanted to go ahead and drop your images in there so you've got to be very careful with those shortcut keys it does take a little bit of practice, but once you've got the grid set up, let go of all the shortcut keys and then let go of your mouse. And it'll go ahead and drop the grid in. A pretty um, good tool for um, a good time saver. Hope you enjoy.